know you mentioned 2004. So 2004 was the what? Six to four game, Tom. That was the six to four game. Yeah. So the, the, the wild thing of that week was on Monday, I get an email from a friend of mine and he says, he sends me this link and it's to an obituary. And the obituary is for John Ferentz, Kirk's dad. And I was like, whoa, no, there was nothing out there about this, that Kirk's dad had passed away. And so I picked up the phone and I called um, Phil Hattie, the then sports information director at, at Iowa. And I said, Phil, have you heard anything about this? Did Kirk's dad die? And he goes, first, I've heard of it. And, you know, Phil has his ear to the ground. So Kirk just didn't tell anybody. His dad had passed away. Um, and so um, Bill called him back shortly after that and said, yeah, it's confirmed, and, you know, that, that his dad had passed away. And, um, and I knew that – and uh, just kind of – that's his dad. But, like, the year before, he had also lost his mentor, uh, Joe Moore who was his high school coach, his old line mentor. He's the one that got him into college coaching at, uh, Joe, at Pitt. The yeah. Moore Award, right? I mean, it's... Joe it's... Moore has an award named after him. Yeah. <laughs> He's that legendary. Yeah. Um, so he had lost his mentor, um, you know, before then, and and then lost his dad. So and both Pennsylvania guys. So, um, you know, uh, Kirk's dad was living in Pittsburgh, and, um, you know, Joe Moore is a... Pennsylvania guy. So um, I just knew that the emotions would be just so high for Kirk and they're playing at Penn state of all places yeah. that week. Um, and I, I, I know, um, you know, Kirk, it was funny because um, I, I, I did a, tw a 20 year kind of interview with Kirk and brought that game up just as one of my favorites and just because of the odd score, but just, you know, it was kind of the quintessential Kirk Ferentz win. And he, he, um, you know, he teared up when we talked about it, but um, he was talking about, yeah, it's, um, I think my dad just felt like uh, that Iowa had beaten Ohio state 33, seven the week before. And he goes, I think dad just wanted to hang around long enough to see us beat Ohio state. And then he was good, you know? Yeah. And it was, so it was kind of fun to, but the, the scene that you'll always remember from that is, is as the clock ticks to zero in a six to four game again, you know, mm -hmm. Iowa gave up two safeties and, you know, you had a couple of field goals from Kyle Schlicker. Um, and that was, that was the, uh, all the scoring, but the, Kirk in tears on the sidelines at the final moments and, and, you know, his son's hugging him. Um, and that's just, you know, just such a neat moment for the Ferentz family. And um, yeah, I, I just never forget that. Never will forget that.